Hello everyone. I have received a message on my cell that I should invest in Syngene International. S-Y-N-G-E-N-E -E International. Now let us see how the Syngene International is working and whether we should invest in it or not. When I see the balance sheet of the company, its equity share capital has gone up from 24 crores in March 2012. In March 2015, they have uh, gone for additional capital. Now it stands around 199.20. Its reserves and surplus, which are 272 in 2012, have gone up to 852 at this particular moment. So their total shareholder funds have gone from 200 and odd to 1000 and odd crores. Okay. Now let us see the let us see the financial ratios. How are they working out of the company? Okay. Now let us say investment valuation ratios. Face value is about 10 rupees and dividend per share is 1 rupee. So in 2015 actually they paid more dividend 21 rupees. This year 2016 they paid only 1 rupee. So it is not a company for uh, dividend payment. It is a very very stingy company. It does not pay you much dividend. And its net operating profit per share. Operating profit per share is about 17 rupees per share. And the bonus is 96 in equity capital. They retain more. Okay. Then the operating profit margin has from 32, it is around, remained around 32, 32% and profit before interest margin remained around 23, gross profit margin around, remained around 23, okay, the net profit margin is remained around 20, okay, return on capital employed has fallen from 21 to 13 and return on net worth has remained at around 21 and then uh, its current ratio is 1.57, which is respectable. Quick ratio is 2.82, which is very good. Debt equity ratio is 0.85, which is a low debt company. Long term debt equity is 0 0.69, so it is a low debt, low long term debt company. Interest cover is 31 times, it is very comfortable. Total debt to owners fund is 0 0.85, which is very low. And financial charges coverage is 43 times, it is very good. Inventory turnover is around 29, so it is acceptable. Data turnover is around nine, around six, so it, it can be improved. So investment investment turnover ratio is twenty nine, it is good. Fixed asset turnover is one, it is not nothing to talk home about. So the material cost composition has remained around twenty eight. They are not doing anything about reducing uh, the cost composition. And number of days in working capital is two hundred twenty two. That's very very large very very large it indicates that their finished goods are not being sold their sales has come down it is not much because 2015 number of days in working capital was 27 this year it has suddenly gone up to 222 and 27 to 222 is a very very serious issue and uh, a company which is uh, holding an entire there is only in working capital from 222 out of the 65 almost 80 percent so is not worth uh, investing in. So better not go in for this company. Okay, the imported composition has gone up from 44 to 45, and expenses as a proportion of the total sales are at 95 at a 95 percent, 95 percent expenses. That means this company is very very ill managed company. As a worst managed company, you should never put your money in that. Dividend payout is only 9 percent, and then earning retention is about 90 percent. So that is okay, good good for the company and uh, the price increase maybe it will help. But uh, this one major thing as number of days in working capital which has jumped from 27 to 222 as a big red flag there and then the expenses as the composition of the total sales is about 95. That is again a very big red flag there. So subject to these two red flags, you make up your mind whether to invest. If it, you leave it to me uh, for the decision. I would say don't invest in this company. Thank you.